Hey guys, wanted to show you a very quick project that I worked on recently. Um, some of you guys may have seen this little guitar ukulele. Some people call it a galele. Um, but basically, it's a six string uke. Um, it's tuned to A. I have an open A, actually. Um, but you could tune it just like a regular guitar. It's really cool. And I've shown this off in the past with a very different finish on it. Um, I recently decided to try to do kind of an homage to Tom DeLonge's newer splatter Gibsons that he does, or even his, uh, his acoustics that he does. Um, I kept the neck, you know, the way that it was, because this was the same color of the whole thing, um, but I didn't really care for it. Up here I actually have the tuning that I keep it in. I do that for a lot of my acoustics, just so I can keep it all straight and remember what's what. Um, it uses just regular nylon guitar strings. Um, nothing fancy about it. You just cut them a lot shorter than, you know, a typical nylon string guitar. Um, so what I did was I spray painted it black because I always really liked the black, um, like the black bass that Tom used on some of his, um, not like bass guitar, but like the paint bass. And then I started with like a blue drip and some of these like longer drips you can kind of see um got a little fucked up but you know that's that's part of the fun um so what i did after that was spray some orange over it because i had some orange left over from when i did the uh, subsonic over there and made sure to get like a little bit of a splatter effect on there too and then just to you know kind of blend it in a bit more i did some more blue over that and kind of did a little bit of the, the splatter on that as well um, I covered the bridge with, with tape. I covered most of the neck with tape so none of that would get uh, messed up. And I actually had blown up a balloon in here, like in the sound hole. And uh, that kept, you know, the inside from getting messed up from, you know, any of the overspray or anything like that. So you can still see all the info on the tag and everything in there. Um, now this definitely wasn't super well done i i did it very very quickly um some people even suggested doing like a little bit of a burn on it too um like tom has done on his but this is a very very cheap instrument and frankly i feel like burning it would jeopardize it pretty uh pretty well so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna keep it the way that it is um honestly i should have sanded before i did any painting but i didn't so this will likely flake off, you know, a little bit here and there after years of use or whatever. Um, but people have been asking me if I'd ever be interested in doing like a splatter drip kind of thing like, like he does. And I just felt like I would never want to do that on like one of my really nice instruments or anything like that. And I was just looking at this one day and I never really liked the reddish color on it. And I was just like, forget it. I'll just mess around with that real quick while I'm doing some other projects or, you know, waiting on other projects to finish up. So, um, I think it came out really cool. You know, it's definitely nothing, um, nothing incredible, but I, I did have some fun with it. I learned, I learned a bit from doing it and, um, hopefully you guys like it. I did use this before the paint on one of my new songs called Taste the Soup, uh, from my new album. And um, so if you're if you're interested in hearing what it can sound like more than just in this video, you can go check that out. But that's pretty much all I got to say. I mean, if, if you think this is cool, you know, I, I appreciate you letting me know. Um, maybe I'll do more stuff like this in the future. I have considered maybe buying a cheap Epiphone. If, if I ever see the, uh, the Tom Long Epiphone for sale for like dirt cheap, maybe I'll pick one up and mess around with it. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really not hard to do. I really, um, think it was a fun project and it's, it's definitely a way to make something a bit more unique and, um, I don't know. I, I definitely suggest you guys, uh, giving it a shot if it's something you're interested in. Just make sure the weather's not too cold. That's been something I've been kind of battling with, um, you know, with the New England weather. It's been really rainy and very cold, so I kind of had to pick when the right time to do it was. Um, because the paint can be very, very tough to deal with. 
under the wrong circumstances. So, yeah. Let me know what you think, like I said, and um, maybe I'll write some more stuff with this in the future. We'll see what happens. We'll see you later. Thank you.